Hey guys, and welcome back to another video on the Row Builder YouTube channel. Today, I want to go over something. I don't know exactly how I'm going to do this, but I'm going to try my best. I keep getting asked, uh, and it was in the video suggestions on my Discord. Uh, join the Discord, link below. They said, explain to us how to put the correct price on buildings, maps, etc. Now, I've kind of been avoiding this video the most I possibly can because every map is so different from each other and they would have a way different price and for example if you built this map right here and i built this map right here they would not sell for the same price uh and there's a lot of reasons behind that uh and i'm gonna try to kind of go through them to help in a weird way possibly so first things first the build quality of course your map could be a lot better than mine or a lot worse than mine or just in a different style so usually low poly maps sell faster because more people want them but the high poly really detailed maps will sell for more if you find the right people to sell them to so i wouldn't really make a high detail map and then go sell it on twitter because your odds are you're not going to find someone now, a couple reasons that maps could sell for a different price, for example, if we made the exact same map, uh, it's going to sound bad, but part of it is like how relevant or how known you are in the community. Uh, if I had zero followers and wanted to sell this map, I would get less money than if I had 50 million followers and wanted to sell this map. And I know that sounds kind of crappy and everything, but it is how it works. So keep that in mind always start with kind of lower prices get yourself known and then you can raise your prices as you go if we wanted to get into like how to price maps uh it would be kind of hard with something like this because there's it's like a whole game so i would i usually like to think of like hey how much money is the potential to make if i hired a scripter and you know got this game working and made the whole game actually something playable so there's that way and then divide that by two because, of course, scripting is half of the work. Uh, another thing, always see how big your map is. Now, this one's not a perfect square, but to get the square that covers it, it is this. So, my map is 580 by 580, basically. So, we would just round that, round it to the closest numbers. It's 580 by 580. And then you could go onto Twitter, type in selling maps, and see kind of what other people are selling for. Like, if I would sell this map, and this is... It's honestly what you think your work is worth, okay? So that's a big deal. But if I were to sell this map, I'd probably ask like $300 for it because it's everything you need in a game. There's all the zones, all the assets, the eggs, like even the pets, the coin models, the assets to use in the game. So I'd do like three or $400 because it's everything. You literally have to get a scripter and then just go like this even has the ui for example so uh, that would even boost it up a little bit more but for now we're talking about just building you need to think on what the people who are buying your map are going to have to do to make it a finished game for example this is a uh, kind of my my test place my my row builder spot and i'm working on some little maps for somebody's game right now we got a castle and then I'm working on a couple different uh, water variations to see which one they like the best. Because, of course, guys, when you're getting a commission, do your best to make them happy. But uh, I sell these maps for like 75 Because not that they're too complex, but the amount of, uh, we'll say, revisions that I got to, you know, kind of go in and do. Because we're really going for a specific style for this one. So that's kind of what we're doing here. Like, I built three different castles. Uh, to end up with this one so keep in mind how much you're doing if that makes sense and don't base your prices heavily for say off mine okay like once again all the factors go into it uh how i hate using the word because like i'm not relevant relevant but like that's kind of how it works how relevant you are uh how much numbers are you pulling for example i always use this guy soft gb uh when you think of him everyone knows he does gfx when you think of, hey, I need GFX, first people that come to your mind is SoftGB or i5K. Now, these guys can make their prices crazy high uh, because, I mean, they're the first people that come to mind. And it's also a way to balance out your work. Like, if you're getting 50 commissions a day, your prices are too low. Um, first off, you're not going to be able to keep up with the demand 
for your own commissions so you can raise your prices. If you're not getting any commissions ever, your prices are probably a bit too high for where your work level is. So I don't get too, too many commissions. So my prices, yeah, I would definitely consider them a little bit high for where my actual skill set is. But I, I kind of price it off my time, not off what I'm building. And that might not be the smartest thing to do, but it's how I work just to make sure I don't run out of time during the day because I have so much to do. I'm working on videos, vlogs, you know, all that kind of stuff. And then, you know, IRL, you know, you got it. You got your own responsibilities and such. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to hop into the creations tab on my discord and I'm going to say what I think the price of a map would be if there's any maps in there. And this is just my uh, like what I think the map would sell for, not what I'm saying it's worth. OK, I don't want to get those two things confused because like one of these builders could say like, hey, I wouldn't sell that for anything less than, you know, a million Robux. Meanwhile, I could say it's worth 2000. There's always going to be that difference because it's not my work, so I can't price it fairly. It's it's what you feel like it's worth. And then it's also what people are going to pay for it. So right here, hopping into the creations tab, assets like this, 500 to 1000 Robux. Personally, is what I would charge for them. Uh, I don't really think it's worth building anything for under 500 Robux for where I am now, just because there's bigger commissions I could take. So I don't know if that sounds rude or anything, but that's just kind of where I am. But I'd say 500 to 1,000 Robux for assets like this. It looks like a very quality shield, so I see him no problem getting that. This map, I would say uh, I, I like the spawn. It doesn't look done out here, but I do like it. I, I'd say this could sell for like 20 k 20 yeah probably like 20k if they finish the rest of the map just by what i'm seeing right here it looks very very nice so if they do finish the map this could be like 30 to 40k depending on how much like height variation and elevation there is in the map ah here's some more photos so definitely not done yet but when this is done i could definitely see at lowest 20k and going all the way up to 40k if especially if there's this much detail that there is right here in this little uh centerpiece in the whole map all right this map looks absolutely insane and underwhelming at the same time i can't put my finger on what i personally find wrong with it but uh I, this one's a really hard one to price for me because it's a lot there's a lot going on but something that like it doesn't seem like it fits together maybe that's the thing and keep in mind whoever built this i am not judging your work i'm just trying to give people an idea of how to price their stuff so please don't take offense to anything i'm saying um thank you so for this map guys i would say um fifteen thousand. uh it's it is a lot bigger of a map and maybe if i saw closer screenshots it would help me out because everything looks more open than it is from the top. So if I saw closer screenshots, the price may go up or down depending. But I'd say around 15 to 20,000. The more I'm looking at it, the more I think it's worth. Like I can see this going for like 25, 30,000 if you find the right buyer. Um, it because it looks like it's kind of game ready. It's weird. Like it seems like there's two different spawns too. So I, I don't know how the gameplay works and everything like that. But I'd say like 15 to 30,000, anywhere in between there. It all depends on if you could find the right buyer. All right. So they actually asked how much should I sell this for? And somebody down here replied 25K. So there you go. I mean, my price was sort of ballpark. There's no more full maps within the Discord. So that's uh, kind of where we got to call that one at. But hopefully this video helped you guys think of how to price your work. I know it might not have been the most helpful because it's really hard to cover such a vague topic. Like everyone's work is so different and every buyer is also so different. Like just if someone offers you, I don't know, $10 and you think your map is worth $50, don't think of it as them undervaluing your map. Think of it like that's what they have to spend. So uh, that doesn't mean you need to sell it to them. Uh, always, you know, try to get what you're asking for. And if it doesn't sell, you know, you might need to lower the price a little bit. But hopefully this did help you guys out. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a great day. Later.